Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Show Enough to bring to you yet another episode of The Joy of Designing. And today, I want to talk to you about this live wire inspired outfit, courtesy of Show Enough. So let's jump on in guys to showcase to you what I have concocted here. Now this style came off as something like wow to me. And that's just mostly because I don't know anything about Livewire. In fact, I've seen the character, I've seen the inspired by um, interpretation um, when you start creating your character in this game. And I thought, wow, this looks really nice. I, this looks really cool. And then um, from that point, uh, I started researching the character a bit and you know, she looks pretty cool. Um, I don't have necessarily really a problem with her. I think that she looks really nice and like, wow. So when I saw Shot Jock, I thought it was the Flash and it was indeed about Livewire. So very interesting to me nonetheless so um, to get things started I want to go ahead and discuss to you a bit discuss with you a bit on the colors first so to start off we have all zeros of course you know for the primary all zeros in terms of the color black all right next up for blue we got zero zero two a a three again zero zero two a a three all right, and then for this color schematic here, it's just E A E A E A, and that's just for um, for the um, for the trim. So primary colors are black, secondary is blue, and trim would happen to be um, would be white. And then for the skin tone, we're gonna um, it's just E eight E eight E eight. So it's pretty much kind of more of a cream white color, I guess. So you go ahead and do that for the skin. For the eyes, I made it kind of like a, a slight blue there, but you can kind of push it over here a bit, make it white if you like, or a little bit of a off, way off blue, a little bit of a tint blue or a tint white, whichever. And then for hair, I made it light blue, and that's D-A-A-E-F-F. -F. So again, D-A-A-E, F, F okay so that's what I did there and for the makeup I chose Z all three zeros eight one zero again zero 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 eight one zero I think that's eight one D or B one D I can't really see but you have to really you know let's just put it to this way just pause the video for a moment and just kind of interpret what that is because I'm kind of far away from my from my TV so I can't really see but in any event uh, once you are finished click save and then we're going to go over to my interpretation of Livewire now this is something that is inspired by and of course you know if you want to create um, if you want to play around with the character designs courtesy of the character or if you want to make your own interpretation of Batman or New 52 Batman or something like that that's fine you may see this character design soon in one of my uh, one of my episodes hmm what episode is that we'll see well you will see for that matter so in this case for the hairstyle I chose spiky now you can use the uh, I think it's Defcon hairstyle but for me, I like to kind of play on and not so much as um, make an accurate statement, if you will. So I chose uh, Spiky. It just really kind of gives it more of, a, of, a, of an attitude flair to the character, okay? And then once you're done, and I think I kind of give it a little bit of a sassy look too. Um, I, for the head, I chose nothing. For the face piece, however, I chose Emissive Eyes. And, you know, this is pretty much of a standard, you know, a standard item you can you could obtain in the Watchtower, in the Watchtower world. For the accessory, this is kind of a problem. I don't mind using an accessory. If you have something, um, if you have like a Nimbus Aura or uh, like a Blue Nimbus Aura, or if you have like a, one of those, the, the Glimmer Auras or one of those special Auras, 
that is uh, available to you, you can go ahead and use those. However, I would just kind of avoid using the um, these normal herbs here, unless you want to use a slim horn. But the reason why I say that is because um, it just really kind of tears away from the character itself. Now, the pink smoke aura looks pretty cool. You could use that, but otherwise, the blue aura, like the normal auras, I would just, you know, kind of avoid that because it really just add, it just really desaturates the value of the character. So, um, let alone the style itself. But it's your option, it's your choice if you want to keep it on or whatever. So, even the white aura, if you have it's like a slim aura or something like that, it's different. Like a slim white aura or, you know, or slim blue or for that matter, but it, the option's up to you. But we're gonna take that off right now, because that's not what I want. So meanwhile, for the shoulders, I chose Furious, and the reason why I chose this is because, um, you know, for me, you know, I just wanna kinda like cover up a bit of the, um, you know, just really just kinda cover up the design around the shoulders and whatnot. Again, just just a really added interpretation of my own. I'm more of a shoulder guy, if anything, and uh, it just adds a little depth. I really kind of like the motif, if you will. I really like the motif and how it just flows together with the um, with the you know with the animation of the you know of the of the insignia, and of course you know with the um, with the lighting and all that around the shoulders. Looks pretty cool. Um, no emblem for the hands. Uh, chose something pretty classic, and that's something that's known as well. Classic. Um, that's what I use just to, just to give a little bit of a flair to the character. And then for the waist piece, now I chose Ages of Eternity. All right, this is a this is an item that I used before, but you know it's it's pretty versatile. It's it's not something I use on everything, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. For the feet, it's pretty self-explanatory. The thigh highs are pretty cool. Um, you know, rather the style itself is pretty self-explanatory because if you know the character Livewire, you know, she wears thigh high boots. So that's something I chose. And then for the chess piece, it's obvious for you high players, out, high level players out there, that is Shop Jock. Shop Jock chess piece. That is the Livewire's um, live style there. For the legs, this is where I was kind of beat myself up on. First off, let me save this, and then I'm gonna go back in real quick to just really give you a, a quick, you know, quick explanation. For the legs piece, I chose one piece, okay? But the problem I have with this is I use reverse slim line at first, all right? But if you notice, around the back area, it really kind of gives that bit of a grandma, um, <laughs> a little bit of a grandma look a bit. I guess the grandma, Candy look, I guess. I don't know, but I mean, it's pretty cool. But if you really want to, um, if you really want to interpret more of a sultry look, or more of a sexier appeal, I say a sultry look. Um, that's more, I guess you could say that's more teen, and that's understandable. Um, I would choose the one piece. Granted, you know, you have the uh, the color. You know, you still have the, the seams you know, in there in terms of just the, you know, the colors, rather where the colors would be. But it's cool, I mean, you know, around certain areas, you won't necessarily see it unless you're in the light, but I think this would, you know, this would be pretty close. Instead of just using the briefs, um, using the female briefs or the thongs, if you will, I think that's just really, really a turn off and it's just very unflattering to me. That's something I would not use at all. For the back piece, I chose nothing, but if you want to use Celtic, that's fine. That's really one of the go-to pieces that would go, you know, if I want to do something, um, uh, you know, a bit skimpy here. And I use I use the term skimpy um, in a way of just less clothing. So uh, with that being said, for the skin, I chose human skin too. Now, you can use glowing, but you will be... But if you do that, you won't be able to play around with the makeup as much. So I just stick with human skin too, and just really just go with that. Now once you could, now once you're done, and once you save, and it doesn't really matter what button you use or whatever the case may be, you get this result. All right. Now if you really want 
to uh, use like you know like the electric power with this style just to really go with the motif that's fine if you have some weapons ideas i would say hand blasters i suppose i don't know again i don't know much about live wire with the exception of looking at the designs kind of researching the character a bit so i can get the understanding of the flow of the character even though personally i think that she's a villain um i may be wrong with this just let me know i have seen the character in supergirl and uh, she has longer hair so if you really want to use longer hair you can do that that option is up to you however i keep it short because it really kind of gives it a sassy look in this case pixie is okay but i think spiky would do it um just to really give it a look get sass um, and give him a, a, a bit of a villain look that's only if she's a villain but I play as a hero so um, there you go there's a huge a huge problem well, I guess it would be a problem as opposed to a rebuttal now um, one last thing I'm going to kind of go right ahead and make this a bit darker because I did see that she has um, she has you know darker she has like dark lipstick so um if you want to do that that's fine that's much better actually that's really better that's much better so just give her a little bit of a darker lipstick if you like um if you want to give it red that's cool personally i think that would look completely off but that's up to your interpretation but that will do it i thought i heard a um thought i heard a a, um, an RD over there. I thought I heard next a bit, but that will do it for right now. Um, tune in next time to my next episode of The Joy of Designing. And of course, guys, thank you for watching and remember to be blessed. All right? By His grace, show up.